Stony Brook football taking on number three seed Montana State in the second round of the 2012 FCS playoffs at a raucous Bobcat Stadium in Bozeman, Montana. The Seawolves defense came out fast and physical. Here, Dominic Reyes just lays out Bobcats quarterback Denarius McGee. And then later in the first quarter, McGee dropping back. He's going to hit the turf yet again, this time courtesy of Dante Allen. Eventually, though, Montana State would break through. Near the end of the first quarter, McGee rolls to his right, dumps it deep down the middle to Tanner Bleskin, who's behind the secondary. A 67-yard scoring strike, and the Bobcats grab the first points in the game at 7-0. Stony Brook would answer back with its own big play here. Quarterback Kyle Essington on play action deep down the middle. Watch Kevin Norell make an unbelievable diving grab, 46 yards. And then Essington again on play action, looking for Norell once more. On the sidelines inside the 15 would eventually lead to this. Wesley Skippington from 38 yards out, boots it through the uprights, and Stony Brook is on the board. It's now 7-3 early in the second. Let's move ahead now to the third quarter. It's now a 13-3 Bobcats lead. Stony Brook starting to move the ball on the ground. Marcus Coker takes the give with a big hole in front of him, charges into Bobcats territory for 12 yards, but two plays later, a bad exchange on the snap. The Seawolves turn the ball over and they can't capitalize on the drive. It remained 13-3 early into the fourth when again the defense made a big play. Here McGee is intercepted by Devontae Anderson. His third pick of the FCS playoffs takes it 28 yards back the other way. And that would give a spark to the struggling offense here. Essington going to roll to his right looking for Norell yet again. 14 yards to the 10 yard line. And then three plays later on third and goal, Stony Brook with a bit of misdirection. Essington rolls out, threads it into Norell in the back of the end zone. And just like that, it's a three-point game with 12 minutes left. Later in the fourth quarter, it's now 16-10. Bobcats, last chance for the Seawolves. Essington going to get sacked, loses the ball. Montana State recovers with just under two minutes remaining. The Bobcats escape with a 16-10 victory over the Seawolves to end Stony Brook season with a 10-3 record. Miguel Masonette wraps up his incredible senior season, just 36 yards shy of 2,000 for the campaign. He will now await the announcement of the Walter Payton Award on December 17th. The Seawolves, meanwhile, will head to the CAA in 2013 on the heels of one of the greatest seasons in program history.